So if you have a SCT telescope and if you are thinking of getting a RASA, well, the cheaper choice is to get a hyperstar. So if you have a Smith's Cassegrain telescope like 8SE, and if you get a hyperstar, you are getting RASA 8. And if you have a Celestron 11 SET, and if you get a hyperstar, it will become RASA 11. So if you have a C14, and if you get a hyperstar, you get RASA 36. So this is very similar to how RASA works. It is a front obstruction camera, and you get an adapter for your color camera or a different adapter for your monochrome camera. In case of color camera, you can put a filter slider. In case of monochrome camera, you can install like the ZWO electronic filter wheel, the mini filter wheel, the one with the five filters. You can install that one here and uh, take pretty good pictures. So today I wanted to use this setup to take the picture of Orion Nebula with a color camera. So let me show you guys what I have here. And I'm going to use like Astromania, like 12 nanometers filter, like a wider nanometer is better because it's a faster scope. Otherwise you have to use like the fast filters. 12 nanometers astromania hydrogen alpha filter is good enough to take the hydrogen alpha on top of the color camera. I will also try two other filters. I will try using the UHS filter from the border and I will also try the IR UV filter from border. All three filters I wanted to use on the color camera and I wanted to take a picture. If you are thinking of RASA and if you already have a Smith's Cassegrain telescope, this may be a cheaper option if you are thinking of getting a fast refractor. So let me show you guys how to make use of this system 